Hey, what's up, and welcome back to the channel. This is the Program Geek, and in today's video, we need to continue with our flash slab design series so as you may know this is going to focus on i think it is phase three this is definitely part four but we're going to be looking at phase three so remember we looked at the ly direction and now we now need to focus on the aox direction for these three unique strips so to do that we're obviously going to start off in autocad so without wasting too much time let's just get right into the video okay so as you already know, we need to start doing phase 3, which is set strip A in LX direction. And if you want, this is LX. Let me go and just show you. This is definitely the LX direction. So we need to create those strips. So going back to phase 3, this is what we're going to do. The first step, as you might know, is to establish your midpoints. In this case, we already established our midpoints. Just to verify, what we're going to do is we're going to take this. As you can see, this is 2,500 and it is similar throughout the entire slab. Now, as you can see, it's similar throughout the entire slab. Next thing that we need to do is we skip obviously strips in the LY and we go straight to establishing the strips in the LX. And in this case, we establish three unique strips that is strip C, strip B and strip A. But once you go to this or pass this point, everything is mirrored. So this just comes down to strip C, strip B strip a strip b and strip c this is in the lx direction remember so once you have done this you have established your stab strips the next thing that you need to do is go and isolate the central strip because remember we always do one strip at a time okay once you've done that you've isolated your central strip and there you go which is going to be 5000 in width next thing that you're going to do is you're going to create obviously the column and the middle strip right and in this case the middle strip is going to be or rather the column strip is the one that is in green that is going to be 2500 and also the middle strip which will be either to either side of this will be 1250 and 1250 but this tool just gives you 2500 so you're still good to go once you've done this next step is to just know that yes your slab depth and panels remain the same as above so the depth of your slab is going to be 250. once you've noted that the depth of your slab is going to be 250 the next step that you just need to do is you go to Procon and obviously now we now need to do that so go to Procon but already I had it open and as you can see we're already going to have strip A in the LX direction which is what we're going to be doing right the input stays the same 25 450 250 then 0 D 40 40 1.4 1.6 the rest is self-explanatory we talked about this and remember yes the code of practice that we're using is BS 8110 1997 so click ok and we're good to go for the next step okay so in the next step once we are done with the input what we have to do is just look at the sections in this case around let's see is our breadth of the ob still 5000 and if we check with the central strip it is definitely still 5000 so we're good to go and what about the d d remember it's still 250 so we're good to go when it comes to the depth of the slab Next, we're looking at the spans. In this case, we now have two spans. Is that correct? Yes, it is correct because remember, we now have 10 meters this side and each is divided into five. If you want to verify this, what we can do is, let me just show you again, annotate, linear, and we're going to go to this point. And right, so I snap to the wrong point. I'm supposed to snap to the grid. And as you can see, it is definitely 5,000. So we have two spans at five meters each is 5,000 divided by 1,000 gives you five meters. Next, what you do is after inputting your spans, the next you go to the supports. And in this case, now we are switched. We now have 300 and 230. Why? Because D, remember, D is the direction that is parallel to the LX. And if you check it, I think there's some way I'd already done it. There, as you can see, 300 is this side and 230 this other side. So the direction that is parallel is definitely 300. So that is 300 throughout and 230 throughout. And the reason why we're not using columns, I have already explained it to you. We want to maximize the moment that is going to be carried by the slab. So we're just going to do that. And once you're done with the supports, next thing you have to go is to go and click on loads. And in this case, let's see to the Excel and see what our loads need to be. So once you come to Excel, you, you remember the process is still the same. You no longer need to include the thickness of the slab. All you have to do is take care of the screen. And in this case, what is the length that we want? In this case, the length is 5,000. So what we're going to do is we're going to change, okay, sorry, back to Excel. We're going to change this from 2.5 to 5. 
and that gives you 5.75 so indeed 5.75 is correct and we just want to put this as screed load and copy that control c the control v and just remember down there you need the live load and let me just finish typing it throughout live load control c and then you have control v there you go and control s to save remember you don't have any wind load so next step you just go and click on view so once you click on view as you can see you have the elastic deflections right this is your elastic deflections and if you go to long term deflections here four and as you can see nothing is scary and nothing is concerning to us moments and still you don't really have to worry about this and the next step what you're going to do is you're just going to go and as you can see for the shear if you go to the steel that's required for shear you actually don't need any steel for shear because as you can see the concrete section is actually able to take care of it by itself and the next we'll just check for it once we go to patch and shear and see the reinforcement that we need to include so after you're done next step is go to reinforcing and in reinforcing as you can see we want to start off with the column strip so we're going to choose detail it as type 3 which is 3 flat slab column strip everything is still the same i still like this change this to 30 bar mark 1 is okay uh, what is the width of the column strip if you just check the width of the column strip if you go it is definitely 2500 so you're good in that direction so everything checks out so generate reinforcement replace existing bars and you're good to go so it's telling me in the column strip i'm going to need eight bars at the bottom as an eight bars too much we can just try and see let's put six there and see what it does if you check it still covers the moment so we're going to use six bars at the bottom but at the top it says um what i can do i can always this will be done as well i can always fine tune this later it's telling me i need 12 bars in this direction but the rest i can use 12 i can use eight rather so what i'll do is only this part is what is going to need the extra four bars so I'm just going to note this, but I'm just going to print this as well and save it. And then we we'll always, we we'll always even refer to these when we are now doing the final detailing. But for the notes, what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to put eight bars. Uh, this is 12 bars, 12 bars. So 12 bars, what we need to see is what is the slab strip. The slab strip is 5,000, right? And how many bars are required? You need 12 bars. So that is going to be y12 at a spacing of 200 and when you need six bars that is going to be at a spacing of 400 that is at the bottom so at the top it is uh 200 and at the bottom it's 400 so now you go back to pads and remember we're dealing with uh this strip so what we're gonna do since these are for notes what i can do is i can always put it in this direction so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to be a copy this then b3 it from this point to this point right this is going to be the bottom so what i'll do is i'll ei then i'll say this is going to be in the column strip i'll just say it is the core strip and in the core strip when it comes to the top we need a spacing of 200 and what we'll do is let's just take it down like this so that at least it fits where we want it to fit does it fit doesn't quite fit so we're just going to ei and change it to something like this and b4 as you can see now it is quite good so we need at the top or rather this was supposed to be the bottom so we just need to put the bottom so the bottom is, is going to be 400 right then b3 then copy it again in this place we're going to say at the top we need it to be 200 so remember bottom layers go first and then the top layers go first so we're just going to be a copy this two then b3 copy them there so that we always have a reminder that this is the top layer and then this is the bottom layer so what it means is we're going to need white cobs at a spacing of 400 in the bottom and white cobs at a spacing of 200 at the top which is going to be okay i'm going to take care of the finer details later on we can always do that when we want next thing what we need to do is we need to take care of the middle strips right and to take care of the middle strips let's go back to protocol go to detailing change this from three and go to four and generate reinforcement click ok in this case it is telling us that we need 12 bars at the bottom as you can see we have 8 and 4 that gives you 12 and at the top maximum you're still going to need 12 bars as well so in this case uh what is 12 bars in the middle strip so that is 12 that is going to be y 12 at a spacing of 200 once again so i'm going to go back right and p3 and copy it there and what we're gonna do is b4 move this one up 
because what we want to do is just to put it in the same direction right now we don't want to waste too much size. so this becomes the mid strip so in the mid strip we're going to use at 200 so remember that in the middle strip you're going to need at 200 whether it's at the top or at the bottom although we're going to fine tune it later on so these are the notes that we just wanted to put so this is it we have done we're taking care of strip a so what we're going to do is we're going to wrap the video at this point and then we're now going to look at part five and then we take care of the other two strips so thank you very much for tuning in if this is your first time please subscribe if it is not please leave a comment and a like and i'll see you in the next video